Coach and Fight here, and we're still getting questions about the Third Testament of the Bible, where it came from, how we know it's legitimate, and all of that. So let me answer it as quickly as I can here. First of all, coming over to John chapter 1 and 1, where we learn that the Word of God is God and that God is the Word of God. And then we learn in verse 14 that the Word of God was made flesh and dwelt among us as our Messiah. And we learn in Revelation chapter 19 and verse 13 that our Messiah will return, but this time his name will be called the Word of God. And when we come over to the book of Daniel, chapter 8, verses 13 and 14, we can get timing on when exactly that will be, the 2300 days. Then looking over in Ezra, chapter 6, we can see when that 2300 days started, when they completed the second temple and dedicated it. Now, the dedication of the temple what is in the seventh year of Darius II which makes it in the year 417 BC. And then it becomes a simple math problem. 417 BC plus 2300 years. Remembering to add a year because there was no year zero, we end up in the year 1884. The thing about the year 1884 is it is the exact year in which we started receiving the Third Testament of the Bible. In other words, the Third Testament of the Bible is the return of of our Messiah named the Word of God. Now, as proof of this, we have to use the book of Revelation chapter 6 as it talks about the sixth seal being opened and all of the events around the sixth seal. And then we can study the Krakatoa volcano of 1883 and see how it mixed all of the characteristics of what we read about in Revelation chapter 6. So, there you have it. Proof that the Third Testament of the Bible is the second coming of our Messiah. If you have any more questions, please ask them below and I'll see you there.